Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. I'm going to show you one of my little tricks that I use to figure out the overall turns ratio of a machine that has metric ball screws. All right, let's get into it. So I'm currently set up here in inches, but the z-axis on this machine has a metric ball screw. Uh, the pitch of the ball screw is five millimeters. So when you turn that ball screw one revolution, the nut on the ball screw moves five millimeters. So in inches, what's the question then is, what's the overall turns ratio? What do I put right here in the overall turns ratio for the z-axis? So the overall turns ratio which is a mechanical constant of the machine tool and is individual per axis. When you're in inches, it's in turns per inch. And this is turns of the axis motor, one turn. How far does one turn of the axis motor move the machine in inches? So my Z axis is direct drive. The motor is directly connected to the five millimeter pitch ball screw. But what the wizard needs to know is if I turn that axis motor, which is the same as the screw because it's direct drive, one revolution, how far in inches is that axis going to move? So you can go on Google and do a millimeter to inch conversion and all that good stuff or use a spreadsheet calculator to help you out with overall turns ratios or you can do this dirty trick I'm going to show you here right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the CNC 12 configuration menu. I'm going to go in the control menu and I'm going to temporarily switch my control into millimeters by changing these two settings right here, display units and machine units, and hit save. And then I'm going to go to the machine motor menu and i'm going to change these numbers right here for z i'm just going to change them for all right now so you can see it so i have a screw that i know turns moves five millimeters with one turn it's direct drive so i'm going to put five millimeters notice the units right here it says motor parameters and motor millimeters per rev so how many millimeters does that axis move when you turn the motor one revolution? Well, we're direct drive to a five millimeter pitch screw, so it's gonna move five millimeters. So I hit save. Now, I'm gonna go back to control, setup menu and change this back to inches and hit save. Then I'm gonna go back in the machine and motor and look at the number that's there. CNC 12 did the conversion for you. Now, the thing that really trips up a lot of people is this is not just a straight millimeters to inches calculation. What it is, is the what gets everybody mixed up is the units also change. So notice in inches, it's revs per inch. And then when I had it in metric, it was millimeters per rev. So that trips a lot of people up. So CNC 12 here will just do the math for you and keep the unit straight for you. So if I have a metric five millimeter pitch screw and I'm running in inches, the overall turns ratio, the correct number would be 5.08. If you turn a metric screw, a five millimeter pitch screw one revolution, the nut on that screw will move 5.08 inches. And if you're direct drive like I am, then the overall turns ratio for that axis in inches is 5.08. So that's an easy peasy way. No internet needed, no calculator needed, pretty slick. Let's do another example. Get out of here and I'm gonna go back to millimeter mode. And let's say I have a router that has 20 millimeter pitch screws. So it's pretty common to have a router that has 20 or even 25 millimeter pitch screws. Let's do 25 too. 
do two examples here at once. Let's say my x-axis has 20 millimeter. So turn the screw one revolution, you get 20, mil, 20 millimeter movement. We're assuming the motor is direct drive. It's not belted. There's no gear reduction or gearbox here in this example, which is also easy to do. But uh, I'm going to keep it simple with direct drive. And the y-axis has a 25 millimeter screw. So I'm going to save that. And now go switch the control back into inches, go back into machine motor, and it just did those calculations for us. So if I have a 20 millimeter screw, that will yield 1.27 revs per inch. If I have a 25 millimeter screw, that is 1.016 revs per inch. Pretty slick little trick that I've used now for about 30 years, just using CNC 12 to do those conversions for me. Now, if you have belt drive reduction, it's the same thing. You just have a multiplication factor of the belt drive. So if I was at three to one, then you would multiply this 1.27 by three, because it would actually take three turns of the motor to move the screw one revolution. And so what this really wants is motor revs per inch. And that's how you would get that number. I hope this little handy trick helps. Good luck with your projects. Bye-bye.